Then it was time for Rhonda and Shotzi. All right, it is time to find out if Greg's a genius or a dumbass. I picked Shotzi in my predictions yesterday. You know why? Because everybody picked Rhonda. But yesterday in the predictions, I'm like, that's no fun. That's no fun just to predict what everybody else is predicting. I see an opportunity here. I saw a great opportunity for WWE to bring back Charlotte and to give Shotzi kind of a short title run like Liv Morgan had, maybe just for the end of the year, during the holidays, she can come out with her belt and do Christmas shit and just be a fun champion to have for a few weeks. Still plenty of time to drop the belt back to Ronda or perhaps even to Charlotte sometime before WrestleMania because I think Ronda and Charlotte both are going to be involved in a championship match of some kind together at WrestleMania most likely. So it would be a great way to bring Charlotte back since Ronda broke her arm and put her out of action. She's been due to come back anytime. Fans have been waiting to see her. I feel like she could turn up at any time. This is a big four pay-per-view. Since we're not going to get Sasha Banks in Boston, I think a good consolation prize, instead of giving us a Sasha return, you get a Becky and Charlotte return on the same night. I kind of saw all of those things being possible. I'm like, you know, I could totally see them doing that. So Shotzi winning the six pack challenge. Everybody likes Shotzi. She's got a fun gimmick and the tank and all that shit. And I'm like, let's have some fun. Why not? Come on, Triple H. Don't be boring. Everybody knows Ronda's going to win. So let's throw a curveball at him. Let's have Charlotte show up. Maybe her music hits in the middle of the match, or maybe there's a ref bump. And then Charlotte comes out and takes out Ronda. And then Shotzi covers her, wins the title. If WWE plans on having Charlotte be a face when she comes back, what better way to do it? Because the fans really struggle to cheer for Charlotte. So I think one way that might help that along would be for her to come out and help Shotzi win the title, shock the fans. Nobody likes Ronda. Everybody pukes at Ronda. The fans would be delighted. I think you'd have a referee. A fucking Jessica Carr could go out there and beat Ronda Rousey, and the fans would love it. They're over Ronda. She's terrible. She has horrific, awkward energy. Whatever that shit she was doing last night on SmackDown with Shayna Baszler was so strange to watch. They, they suck at trash talking. They're just awkward. They don't look right, sound right act right. Nothing they do seems natural at all together. And it seems, I mean, I love Rhonda and Shayna together. I like the idea of that, but so far their promos are so bad. So when you take in all that into consideration, what way to pop a crowd? What a great way to get that Boston crowd to wake up, to give them an upset they didn't see coming. Shotzi wins the title because of the returning Charlotte getting revenge on Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey is now pissed. Shotzi can be champion through the holidays. Then at the beginning of the year, you do the return match on SmackDown. Ronda and Shotzi. Ronda beats her, wins the belt back. Charlotte wins the Rumble. And then you have the match at WrestleMania, something like that. I saw no harm in doing that. I thought it would have been a fun way to kind of wake the fans up and plus, if Ronda, what's she going to do at the end of this year? Isn't she coming back? Didn't she come back just to kind of fulfill that original contract? Do we know any contract status on Ronda Rousey? Is she going to re-up with them and stick around? She doesn't seem like somebody who's going to be there very long. So I thought that if she was going to be done after WrestleMania, wouldn't it be cool to have her put over a couple people on the way? You know, live if, if, if Shotzi would have beat her tonight, that means like when Ronda left or retired or left WWE or whatever, you've got Liv Morgan and Shotzi and a couple of other people that can say they have victories over Ronda Rousey. And that's a good thing to have on one's resume. So I thought it was... All positives and no negatives, all pros and no cons here. I saw no negative or no downside to doing my scenario because Rhonda, it's not like she's hurt or buried. Charlotte showed up and cheated and hit her in the face with a baseball bat or something, and Shotzi won. It's not Rhonda's fault. So I felt like she could survive the loss, you know, in terms of her value on the roster, wouldn't do anything to her. So she's Rhonda Rousey. She's one of the most recognizable names in the world. Uh, having Charlotte come in, kick her ass, and have Shotzi beat her for the title isn't going to do anything to damage Ronda, and it's going to do everything to help Shotzi. So again, all pros, no cons in the mind of Greg. Maybe you guys can see some holes in this idea or these ideas, but I can't.